Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Jack and Glenn channel. Hey, before I get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of our reviews. Uh, what I want to talk about today, man, I want to talk a little bit about Shaq, man. Shaq's made a comment on um, Married at First Sight the other day, which kind of stuck me a little bit or made me think of something. Uh, made me think about marriage a little bit. He uh, he said, he told Kirsten, I think he was talking to Dr. Pia uh, when they were having a conversation when Dr. Pia came to visit. A little backdrop on this past episode of Married at First Sight, Dr. Pia uh, came in and she is the... Uh, you don't, if you don't watch this on a regular basis or uh, just new to this video, uh, Dr. P.A. is the sex therapist uh, who comes in on Married at First Sight, who talks to the cast about how to increase the intimacy uh, in their life. So we had Shaquille and Kirsten uh, sitting there and they were talking about the intimacy, they were talking about their relationship, they were having a conversation about how uh, that it can spark some more intimacy in a relationship and, and some things. The question was brought up about Shaquille's masculinity, right? Uh, about how um, did Kirsten think he was masculine enough uh, for her? And and she took a long pause and she gave a long moment and she was like, nah, she didn't think he was masculine enough uh, for her. Uh, because again, she compared him to her father. Um, as I mentioned on our review, she he's not her dad. He can't be her dad, right? Uh, but there's some things that she equates to masculinity. Um, building things, take fixing things, moving boxes. Uh, that's not that's not necessarily masculinity, right? Uh, protecting her, uh, those things that men do. Uh, what she might be saying is that he doesn't do anything around the house. What she might be saying is I don't see you do any manly things, right? Uh, I don't see you doing uh, fixing things. Um, but that does not mean he's not masculine. Uh, just means that he can't change. He can't fix a, a fix a toilet. That's okay. Maybe he doesn't work on cars. That's fine. He maybe wasn't taught for that. That's why you have money. That's why you have handymen. That's why you have people you can call. That's why you have people who are plumbers. That's why you have electricians. I can't work on electricity, and I'm not going to work on electricity. I'm not shocking myself. I'm not an electrical guy, right? <laughs> this, that's not my thing. Can I work on a car? Yeah, I can do some things around a car. But when it goes past my skill set, I get the people who have the skills to do it. Uh, and that's what she needs to understand. Uh, he, he may not have the skill set that her father has. He may not have the skill set uh, uh, that she was used to seeing uh, when she grew up and uh, what uh, to, to fix those things. He may not ever been taught how to fix a toilet. Yeah, you can find things on YouTube. Uh, he may not have time, but guess what? He I may not he may not have the time, but he has the finances to get somebody to do it. So again, you can't equate masculinity to work, right? Uh, she does not. She doesn't respect him. Um, she doesn't respect the way he's protecting her. What, what I hear there is that I hear you don't protect me, right? You don't do the things that that I'm used to seeing in a household um uh, goes back to the hugging when he comes to the door goes back to the kissing when he comes back to the door that's probably what she saw her dad do um when their, his parent her parents were together i know they're divorced right uh she so, so there's something there's a disconnect somewhere down there or then again she might be gaslighting but shaquille has to understand he has to listen to her and understand this is what she's asking for uh, she's asking you to step your game up in some areas in that and that's fine and that is fine. And he's asking her to step her areas up, uh, step her level up in some area. I'm not here for that because, again, um, we as husbands and wives, we do ask our spouse, can you do this or can you step up in this area? Can you step over that area? Um, and so there are some things that they really have to work on in their relationship. And Shaquille is fed up. He makes the comment, goes to the point of this video, right? <laughs> he said, I'm tired of proving myself. He feels that he has to prove himself every day to Kirsten. Bruh. Welcome to marriage, right? Welcome to marriage. Marriage, you're proving yourself daily, right? You're proving yourself to be a great communicator on a daily basis. You're proving yourself that you're proving yourself that you are trustworthy uh, on on and uh, and marriages, right? Uh, shoot, you're proving yourself you're trustworthy. Here you go. Uh, when we started having kids, right, I had to prove that I can I'm able to take care of our kids on a regular basis. Um, that I'm able to to maintain and do everything that the mother can do, right? Uh, you're proving yourself. It's not a slight against me. She doesn't know if I can take care of kids. Well, guess what? She never had kids before neither. So I'm proving myself. I I proved myself. My kids almost grown, right? I got an 18 year old, 17 year old, and it's almost in a couple of days a 10 year old. So my kids are grown. But when we when I was married, when we first married, started having kids, I had to prove I can change. I had to prove that I could change a diaper. Prove that I can um. Uh, 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 take care of my kids and while she can go away for weekends and they'll be okay. I proved that I could do hair for my daughter. I could do a little ponytail. Uh, so there's some things you have to prove in marriage, right? I had to prove that I'm a great communicator, a great listener, 
uh, in marriage. So, yeah, there's some things that you're going to have to prove. He's going to have to prove that he can be a, an emotional support for her. He's going to have to prove that he can uh, take care and meet her needs. That's marriage. And it can't. And don't be afraid of having to prove yourself. It does not challenge your manhood or take uh, anything away from your uh, capabilities of a man to have to prove yourself in marriage, right? When you prove, uh, yes, you may have to prove yourself that you can share some responsibilities, right? The problem that, the one problem that Shaquille is having he has the he has the inability or he's having an issue with proving that he's flexible and willing to compromise. Shaquille has the problem the show that he's not that he's not flexible and willing to compromise. Look at some of the things in, from past Married at First Sight or from this season. He hasn't been flexible, willing to compromise with Kirsten on a lot of situations, on a lot of things. Um, uh, the, the situation about again him being too not joking around and playing too much. Hey, that's an opportunity for him to be flexible. That was an opportunity for him to compromise. Go back to what I mentioned earlier. The point of him going, uh, coming home and hugging her and giving her a kiss and and embracing her. That was a point uh, again opportunity for him to be flexible and to compromise. Uh, him spending some time with her and not leaving her home by herself. Uh, coming home earlier from work, maybe. Uh, calling and there was an opportunity for him to be flexible and willing to compromise. Even in this past episode, when he was willing to go, to, go take the trip, right? Go on a trip and he's upset because uh, she switched up on the trip. I'll get to that in a, in a minute. But while he's on the trip and, and, and the come phone calls got less, be willing to be flexible and compromise. Knowing that she is kind of, I don't want to say needy, but she wants the attention, right? Be willing to, and flexible and compromise. Y'all not married for 10 years already. You're married for like six weeks at this point. You should still be doing everything you can to be flexible and compromise, showing this woman that she that you're trustworthy. So what are you tired of proving yourself? You gotta prove yourself daily because you want to build her trust because you want her to say yes after the eight weeks if he wants that, right? I think he's at a point that he doesn't want to do that, uh, that he doesn't want to... Um, stay there anymore uh you know again about her switching up on the trip she was dead wrong right if you told the man that you was going uh guess what she needed to do she needed to go if you tell him that you're going on a trip and that you want to be on a trip take the trip go on the trip all right uh be that's what he's looking for she has to also be flexible and willing to compromise to him and meet his needs as well make a plan of it okay look give her a schedule these are what i'm going to do this is what we're planning on doing. This is how long I got to be recruiting or doing whatever he's doing. And then we'll move on to the next level. But um, Shaquille being tired of proving himself in marriage. Now nah, you prove yourself every day in marriage. Going on 22 years uh, and you're still proving things that you can do. If you're not a handyman, you're not a handyman. Guess what? Prove that you can call a handyman, right? Prove that you can fix the, get the oil changed. Prove that you can fix the light bulb. Prove that you can fix the smoke detector. Do whatever you need to do. Continue to prove in marriage. Uh, one thing I uh, understand is by proving in marriage, he's building a healthy relationship. Uh, he's building love. He's building a lifelong partner. He has to continue to make sure that she feels comfortable in this relationship in order for them to stay married longer um, than possible. So uh, guess what? Shaquille, hey, if you're tired of proving yourself in marriage, bro, don't be married anymore. Because uh, as long as you stay married, you and your spouse are going to have to prove yourself to each other because they're going to become situations that you have not encountered before that you're going to have to prove that you're able to handle and take care of. So, hey, y'all leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Uh, is Shaq doing too much to prove himself? Is proving yourself being a part of marriage? I think so. So once again, uh, he has to be able and willing to communicate, be trustworthy, share some responsibilities, uh, and also be flexible and compromise in this marriage if he wanted to be successful. Hey, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Y'all gonna have a great day. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification. Hey, you stayed around this long. Why not do it? Talk to you later.